A fiber optic rod consists of a central strand of material surrounded by an outer coating. So let's draw this to understand what that means. A fiber optic is like a long wire, except the only difference is this doesn't carry electricity, it carries light. In the question it says the fiber optic rod consists of a central sta strand. So let's just draw the central strand in here, like that. Okay, and this is surrounded by an outer coating. Okay, so here we have the outer coating, outer coating, and this is the central strand here. Central. Strand. The whole thing, by the way, is an optic, a fiber optic. The next part of the question says the interior portion of the rod has an index of refraction of 1.6. So the interior means the central strand. This has an index of refraction n of 1.6. Now remember the light starts inside this cable and what happens is it bounces and internally reflects inside. Okay. So remember, if the light is starting from the middle, this is going to be the first one, N1. The next part of the question is, if all rays, light rays, striking the interior walls of the rod with incident angles greater than 59.5 degrees, are subject to total internal reflection. So that's basically what we've drawn here. It says all rays hitting the interior walls, these walls here, are subject to total internal refle reflection. This is all about total internal reflection. And it also tells us the um, angle that these are hitting at. The angle it's hitting at, angle equals 59.5 degrees. So they've given us N1, 1.6, and they've given us the angle, 59.5 degrees. It then asks for, what is the index of refraction of the coating? So it means the outer coating. And this is the second medium, N2. So we look at the formula. It's asking for N2, it's given us N1 and the an angle. This is all about total internal reflection, so critical angles are to do with this. The formula is sine theta, critical angle, equals N2 over N1. Remember, 2 is at the top. That's the formula for total internal reflection. We put in the number for N1 at the bottom. We're trying to find N2. And remember, the angle is 59.5, but that doesn't mean you can leave off sign. So don't forget to put sign in your calculator. If you rearrange this to find N2, it will look like this. Sine critical angle C and N1 cross multiply up here will go up here. Okay? That will give you N2.